Yo my dudes, what is up and welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to make this um, extremely compact and small Lego F1 car that um, involves upside down building and you know a couple of illegal Lego movers. What yeah um and uh, yeah if you like the look of it um, I do so hopefully you guys do too. Um, nice little tail light at the back too. Um, so just watch ahead to have a look at how to what pieces you need and how to build it. Okay, doke, here are the pieces and as I say in pretty much all of my um, videos, remember that quite a few of these pieces can be subbed out for other pieces and so on. So some pieces that might be hard to see are this piece. Um, that I got that from a uh, Speed Champion set, and this piece here, along with the other one. Oh crap! Um. So, uh, one other thing might be hard to see. This is a one by eight. This and these six here are one by fours. These are one by twos. Uh, these are one by one slopes. Uh, these are bricks with an overhang, not necessarily, not necessary, but I would recommend them, uh, these are just your know, clip, um, like that, and there's four of those, and, uh, yes, here's a black grill, that, yeah, that might be hard to see down here, so that's it, just remember, yeah, uh, not all of the pieces need to be used, and can be used for some other pieces that you might have in your Lego box. So, uh, now I'm just going to show you how to build it in a couple of easy steps. Okie doke, so here are the pieces that I'm splitting the, the, the main bits that I'm splitting the vehicle into to make it easier for you guys to build. Um, it does have quite a few bits that some people might not have. Um, so, yeah, hopefully the pieces section for this has kind of helped you on what you need. And yeah, um, you don't need every single bit. Um, as I did a video on this previously, but that was for my other channel. And so I actually made this off my video that I filmed. And so I um, couldn't be bothered finding some of the pieces, so I exchanged them and it looks um, the same or even better. As I've made a couple of improvements to it. Um, so now I'll be showing you how to build each section bit by bit. Okie doke, so the first uh, bit that we'll be making is the nose cone part. Uh, so, I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, you're going to start with, let me grab a couple of pieces at the same time, uh, these pieces, um, and you're going to start assembling them like this. Uh, now, here we go. Um, get these one by one slopes and a two by two. Um, another two by two plate down there and grab your four clips um, that'll be uh, they just go on the bottom there and if you don't I don't have a white one that's an all-in-one piece well and one I don't have a white bit a white piece that's those two pieces connected together but if you do I would recommend using that because um, these are kind of a bit not very lined up as you can see but you can just square them off by pushing the nose down to the ground, I suppose, um, and that kind of works. Um, and you're going to just um, clip that, that into there, which is um, easy enough. Um, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, there might be a bit, little bit of resistance, um, but whatever, based on your Lego piece, it should be easy enough. Um, make sure they're uh, pretty parallel and... Um, symmetric to each other and then you're going to get this half pin and just stick it into the um, 2x3 uh, slope piece just like that which will enable upside down building um, much easier instead of gluing pieces together which would be preferable wouldn't it um, so that's the nose cone uh, next piece uh, bit we'll be working on is the rear um, air vent and um, spoiler and stuff Okay, so uh, for this next bit, you're going to grab a couple of pieces at the same time again. Um, uh, yeah, just grab those. 
Um, oh god, these pieces here like debt. Um, god. Um, so, now you're gonna um, just uh, put this together here. Um, so like that, that's, that's pretty good, yeah. Oh. Now, going to put this on here, like so. Um, now, we want this on here. So that's in the middle, like that, as you can see. Um, as, like, all plates like this, um, have a, don't have a center, um, little kind of, like, let me see, here we go. Um, like this. Yeah, anyway, it's been too long on that. Um, so, we're going to stick that on there, like that, and put this piece on top there. That looks pretty neat. Um, now, gonna just connect that onto there, pretty easy. Uh, two by four, one of these uh, thin wall pieces things, uh, two by two tile, and uh, this two by four, and that goes actually upside down, and it just kind of nestles into place there, and it's not too slippery, uh, but don't really want to, right? Uh, but it it fits in, but it's yeah. If you get to put like the wheels move and everything is um, playable, but this is probably one of the more fragile bits here. So just like that, quite easy. Uh, yeah, like that. Now our next bit we're going on to is probably both wheel bits, maybe at the same time potentially. Okay, doke. So as always, we're going to grab a couple of pieces at the same time. Um, so that pretty much involves. Stuff it, I'm just going to grab all the pieces you need. Uh, so, there we go. Get that hair off. There we go. Okay, so you're going to stack, firstly going to begin with uh, stacking these 2x3s like that. And then these 1x1 slopes and a 1x2 uh, flat piece like that. Then uh, that goes there and there and there, nice little tail light. Now, now I've got to remember, I think this goes here, yes it does. Correct. And these two half pins go in there like that. Um, now, so I might do the uh, front wheels at the same time. It's pretty simple. So all that is is a 2x4 and a 2x4 and a 2x2 uh, two two plate. And then, I've probably forgotten already, I think that just goes there or there, or one of the spots, we'll find out, uh, when we put them all together at the end after we finish building the main cockpit bit. Okay, so the first pieces you're going to grab are these bits here. Let me just do that. Okay, now, you're going to start connecting them all together, as this is the underside of the F1 racing car, like so. Now, I'll do this bit next. Ah, uh, now, where else? Yeah, we go. Okay, so just, yeah, pretty much get all the remaining pieces that you have. So this piece here is gonna go on the inside, like that. And, yes, this is gonna go on here like that. And all you're gonna do is just connect it onto there like so. Now you're gonna do that, this, that, that, yeah, um, <coughs> like that, pretty easy. Uh, now we need this piece and this piece here, like that. Um, and it could be, uh, it could be these pieces, it doesn't really matter. The ones without the overhang, or the ones with the overhang, or underhang, or whatever you'd like to say. Uh, now, that's going to go. But I think the ones with the underhang look quite a bit better, kind of n nestled in in there. Quite a, li quite a bit nicer, hey? Um, now, you're going to stick this on here. This isn't really necessary. You could just use a one-by-one one brick. 
but I think it kind of gives a nicer finish to the kind of to get yeah, to the car. Um, now, what we need is to stick these half pins, stuff it. Uh, yeah, that's tricky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait until this thing comes along. We're just gonna bring everything together. Um, now we're gonna stick these half pins in here just so we don't have to do any more hard work there. Now half pin just pops in there like so. Uh, that's quite easy, and that just connects in there like that. Now we have this piece which goes in there like that and looks like we have the wheels in the right position there which is good to know and that just pops on like that and it all fits together quite nicely uh, so yeah that's it might zoom out a little bit so yeah that was it um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I made sure it wasn't too long for you guys to endure so I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, make sure to uh, subscribe and check out my channel and I'll leave my alternate channel in the description uh, if you want to go and check that out too, make sure you to subscribe um, don't leave any hate because I say I'm a lot I got that in my other, in my alternate, alternate channel when I did an extremely short video, it's like um 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 yeah so just don't post hate in the comments because that's you know kind of doesn't really make people feel very good um, I've got to say <clears throat> and I've got to say um just as I'm saying that oh my god um, I need to put a little electrode like on my skin for whenever I say um just going from my brain to like somewhere in my body that just whenever I say um just like gives me an electric shock that'd be good wouldn't it Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, I'd like to know your feedback on whether you want me to make an intro slash outro and or yes, um, so if you would like me to, I can certainly do that for, um, things like, uh, end videos and stuff like that, uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it and have fun with this, displaying it, I made a quick brief little stand to display it on, unfortunately it needs blue tack um, so that just a cool little stand that displays the F1 on an angle but you need blue tack unfortunately um, I'm presuming you guys don't want to know how to make the stand because it's pretty it's quite simple anyway um, so it's got the little plaque here whatever, won't crap on too long about that as I always do uh, so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, like, leave feedback for what I can do in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one.